Welcome to this video and this video is all about how to add a new domain on the Lifeworks streaming server and through this process of adding a new domain you can also change the Lifeworks server domain with your own domain name. So let's get started with the settings to add a new domain on the Lifeworks streaming server. And before getting started with adding a new domain or changing your domain as the default server domain, you have to make sure of two things. The first one is, you have to purchase a domain from the domain name registrar such as domain.com, godaddy.com or register.com. And the second one is, you have to point the purchase domain to the Livebox server IP address. So after purchasing a domain and pointing it to the Livebox server, you can go to HTTP settings under settings. In HTTP settings, near the server name, click on this plus button. A dialog box opens where you can enter the domain name that's been pointed to the Livebox server IP and then click on this submit. So by doing this, you can add your purchase domain on the Livebox streaming server. So back on the server name option, you can select the added domain name using this drop down menu and then if you click on this button, you can mark your domain as the default server. And before making your domain as the default server, you should note that you can make your domain as the default server only if the domain has got the valid SSL certificate. So if your domain has got no SSL certificate, you don't have to worry about it because you can always generate both free and paid SSL certificates for your domain from the Livebox streaming server itself. So to generate an SSL certificate for your domain, go to security under settings. And in security, we have SSL certificates here. On this page, you can generate both free and paid SSL certificates for your domain. In the case of free SSL certificate, you just have to click on this plus button. And if you have already added your domain name, you can click on this drop down menu to select your domain. And if you see here, you also have the option to add your new domain here instead of adding it in the HTTP settings and then give your mail ID followed by clicking on the secure this website button and by doing so you can encrypt your domain at free of cost so now if you want to make your domain as the default server you can click on this button and once the changes are made you can see that your new domain name will be replaced in this place and then if you notice here you can see the validation of your SSL certificate. So once the validity is over, you can also renew your SSL certificate by clicking this button. And now moving on to the paid SSL certificates, you have to first select your domain here by clicking this drop down menu and then fill in this request form just like how it is mentioned in the example. So after filling this form, click on this button to generate a request file to go on with your SSL certification process and the request file usually gets downloaded in the zip file format so you can extract the file and send it to your certification authority through mail and in turn the certification authority will send you the SSL certificate and SSL key so you can download the SSL certificate and SSL key and then by using these two options you can select files from your PC and then upload it to enable your SSL certificate encryption. So after enabling the SSL certificate for your domain, if you wish you can also make the domain as a default server by using this button. So this is how it goes and these are the only steps you need to know to add your own domain on the Livebox streaming server. Well that's it for today and for more information on Livebox, keep checking on livebox.co.n.